Hey, David Charney here from Illumin Group and eLearningLocker.com. Today I wanted to show kind of the power of Storyline if you're using the master slide and if you want to build some sort of custom navigation that you want to be available throughout your course. Now as you saw here when the course started, there was a little bit of an introduction slide and then it went into this. Uh, so here I am, I've got this navigation on the right. I've got some sort of content on the left. I've got a background picture and I've got a couple of things here. I'm going to click continue and you see it went to uh, step two. It loaded in a new uh, bit of content. I'll hit continue again. Step three. I've just got kind of placeholder items here. Step four. And then I'll hit continue. And again, you'll see this just as I keep clicking continue, continue, continue. It'll just keep sliding through all these, um, all this different information. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and this is the last slide. And then I just go into kind of a the end slide. So I've got four different slides here. Um, let me close this. And let me show you how this was put together, at least generally. I'm going to start by going to the master slide. And I've got a number of things going on here. I won't go into all of them, but because your project's probably going to be different and it would be set up differently anyway. But um, from, from the highest level, I've got a slide menu out layer. And in this layer, I've got all the buttons. I've got my continue, my title. Uh, I've also got a show intro. And this intro, this is the, the box that will slide into each, uh, each um, new page. And again, this is the master slide. So what's nice about this is I would only have to change this once, and it will affect everything throughout the, uh, out the course. Now I tend to, when most of my slide is kind of more functional than visual, uh, although this intro slide is a little bit different because I do have a little bit of graphic on there, I tend to put these little brackets here just going back to creating functions and things uh, in my, when I used to do more programming. Uh, and, and that helps me just know very quickly what items are uh, my, my visual items. So I'll go back to slide menu out. I've got a lot of triggers on here. And these triggers, uh, I kind of manage all of this stuff here. So when you hit continue, what happens? I have a, a little function here called next layer. That controls what to do when you click that continue button. So if I need to change anything regarding what happens when you hit the continue button, let's say I realize that something doesn't hide or show the right way when I click continue, instead of having to go to each layer and change that, I can do that right here. I can just add something in here and that'll affect everything all the way throughout. So of course Storyline doesn't have a very good way to reach into the slide master and say, uh, let's say if I'm on a, a slide somewhere and I want to create a trigger that says, hey, in the master slide on layer side menu out, I want to affect something. I, I can't really, I don't really have that level of control through the drop downs of the triggers. But what I can do, and I'll come down to my base uh, layer here, is I can say, when a certain variable changes, do something. So I created a, tr uh, so I'm sorry, I created a, a variable called show menu. And when show menu changes, I do something. So in this case, whenever show menu changes, I'm going to show intro. So show intro. Uh, so whenever this occurs, and, and by the way, I could have a, a condition here. I could say show layer, show intro. Whenever show menu changes, if show menu equals something. So I could still have a level of control. Uh, first off, if show menu changes at all to anything, great. Um, but I could say only show the intro if, uh, if show menu equals intro or if show menu equals true or whatever it is. Um, if it didn't, I could still show the menu, but I could skip the intro, for instance. I could have another trigger here that says show menu or show um, 
uh, side menu out when show menu changes if if it doesn't equal intro equals true or if it doesn't equal true for instance or intro or whatever but um so the whenever show menu changes it starts to fire all these things off goes to side menu out and uh you know it's a pretty quick uh pretty quick way to uh make everything function the same way throughout your entire course now i wanted to show just briefly how i can make a change across the board uh, let's say I want to, you can see I've got to continue here. Let's say I want to add a previous. So the way my, let me come back up here. The way my next works is uh, I set whatever the current button is and I add one to my show layer. So every time you click next, it changes show layer to, it starts at one and then it's show layer two and show layer three and show layer four. So what I could do is I can duplicate this. I'll call this previous layer. And then I can, basically, I think I can just change this to negative one. And that'll go back. Of course, I, I might run into some situation where I need to add a couple more things in here to manage that. But again, I can change it just in one spot. So now I just come down to side menu out. Uh, just for time, I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to get rid of the word continue. I'm just going to flip this around. This is not always the best idea just because uh, Sometimes Storyline's got a couple little goofy things with flipping things around, but I think it'll work for this example. And then let's just make that a little bit gray just to focus you on this continue. Then I'm just going to set this to previous layer. And fingers crossed. We'll run this again. I hope this works. There's the intro. So I'm going to click continue, continue, continue back. Yeah, so, yep, that works fine. So you know, that works very well. And then I would just have to create something where, see, and this is where you would create something where if you go back and you go back again, it will say, oh, if I'm at layer zero, then go to the previous slide. Just as when I get to the last button item here, the last layer, go to the next slide. One other thing I wanted to do is uh, there's a, a bit of a bug in, in uh, Storyline where, uh, see if I click on Apollo 13, and I'm actually going to have to click it again because I've got a little bit of script in there. Um, and then I go to 14. You can see my check mark there. And that's because I have a visited state check mark. And what I want is as you go through these, I want it to kind of check it off. Uh, now, I have to click the button twice because when I click this, it actually, a trigger sets it to uh, selected. And when you when a trigger See, the problem is a trigger will uh, kind of void the the fact that I had clicked on the button. And um, it just, buttons work a little bit different if you click them than if you use triggers to tell them things. Uh, and I think that's just a bug. Um, but I want these little check marks to work even with my triggers. So I can go back to my slide master again. And I'm going to go to, well, I'm already on it, side menu out. And I'm going to go to the end of all the stuff that happens. And I'm going to say that I want to change the state of my button one to visited when, when set current button is visited so 
when the variable changes set current bu button visited, I created that variable. And basically that's just a simple little trigger um, on the condition, whoops, on the condition that show layer is equal to one. And you don't have to remember all this stuff, but this will show you, did I do this right? Da, 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 da. I think so. This will show you how quick it is to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, now I have to do this to each item, but again, it's so much quicker than having to go through each slide later on and make a change. That's really a difficult thing to do. You can imagine once you've got 30 slides and you've got, let's see, I can do this a little bit differently. Again, you can imagine if you've got 50 slides and you need to go back and change something in here, it can take you a very long time to have to go back through everything and change everything. And uh, with, with this, you can just very quickly go back and, and change things. So let me, you know, I'm talking while I'm doing this, so I don't know if I did anything right here. One, two, three, did I do this right? One, two, three. I never know if I'm doing anything right. It just kind of, and it works half the time. Seven, okay. I think I did that right. Worst case is I'll just cut this out and say I did it right, and you'll just think I did it right. Is that all I need to do now? I think that's all I need to do. Anyway, we'll see if this works. I can't talk and think at the same time, which is why the things that come out that I say sound so ridiculous half the time. Continue, 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 continue. Somehow that worked. Continue, continue. It's a little weird you don't see the final check mark when it continues, but again, I could add a, like a little something in there so that you can, you can see it happen. And the end. So there you go. That's how you can use the master slide. Uh, uh, you know, just, uh, well, in fact, I can show you here. Um, I'll do one more quick example. I'll add a new thing in here. I'll new slide. I'll select a new. I'll select a new image, and I will get rid of a bunch of these things. I've got some little things in here. Let's see. Nature. Nature two. I'll title this this tree. And I'll set this to three. It'll still say Apollo here, but if I were to run this now, you'll see how it's going to use all that stuff in the master layer and how quickly I can create a new slide that uses all this functionality. Continue, continue. Well, I guess I got to go through the whole thing. This is a picture from my recent trip to Phoenix. This is from my recent visit to the moon. So this tree, that slides out. Menu comes in, here's my two options, continue, continue, and it goes to the end. So that was amazingly quick to add a new slide that has all that functionality that I, again, can just go to the master slide and make it, I can continue to make adjustments to. So hopefully you can figure out your own ways to create navigation in the master slide that can carry itself all the way throughout your course.